Welcome to Puzzle with Emilia, that's me, and you all have been asking me how is the crypt going. Well, it is not going. Like, this is not my cup of tea at all, this is not a piece of cake, whatever cliche phrase you can come up with, this is the one. So this video is going to be part two for solving the golden crypt, one solid color jigsaw puzzle. If you haven't seen the part one, go and check it out first. And you may also know this, that this is exactly how we left it with Danielle on the previous video. I have not touched this for weeks and I'm starting to feel like the only reason I'm going to actually push through and finish this is because I'm filming a video and I already posted the first one. So this must be finished. There is no giving up. And this is actually a good tip if you ever have any goals in life or goals related to the uh, puzzles like you want to participate your first speed puzzling competition or do some challenging puzzle tell it to other people because when you tell it out loud to other people and you know we're social animals so it kind of gives you the hopefully uh, a positive pressure to actually finish something of course if you get negative pressure then don't do that and also be careful who do you tell because you know haters gonna hate potatoes gonna potate but anyway, at least I have had time to process all the good tips we went through in the last video. Also some uh, new comments you sent me. So yeah, I don't really have too much to say about this. We're just gonna now do it. So maybe I'm gonna share some thoughts between the days. And my goal is to do this now every each day until I finish it, at least on the daytime when we have daylight. It's around 2.30 p.m. right now, so for today the sunlight in Finland, uh, the sun is gonna go down in about an hour and yeah, let's do this. Okay, this is it for today. I don't know what day this is anymore. I actually got pretty good progress today. I'm super proud. Thank you for the tips. And then this is my keep it sane puzzle that I did today. And tomorrow I will continue. Okay, it's the day two of this part two um, solving the crypt puzzle and I got a feeling that last time I was filming I said that now, I'm, now on I'm gonna do this every each day. Well, technically the last time I did and filmed this was a week ago, so... <clears throat> I wouldn't say it was a lie. I have an excuse here. I got sick and on the weekend I had to commentate, or had to, I had the pleasure to commentate uh, a puzzle battle in Instagram Live and then I had also my own speed puzzling competition, which I did win, so um, I think my energy was well saved. Um, but anyway, new try again. Let's try to get this moving on. Last time there was actually some real progress. Um, so yeah, let's keep it going and see what will happen today.
Yee-hoo. It's moving along. You have no idea how happy I am that this is actually going somewhere. And maybe, just maybe next week, I will be able to do other big puzzles again. I have holiday puzzles, I have impossible puzzles, even that sounds cute right now. I have so many bigger puzzles that are waiting just for this to be finished. So I'm really hyped right now, definitely gonna continue for real this time tomorrow. It's day three and this is actually right after yesterday. So this time I'm actually keeping up with the progress. Um, if you wonder why I'm always wearing a hat in my videos, um, it's because I haven't went to the hair treasure since the world and I have like super gray hair. Um, that's why. So, and also I wanted to show you the beautiful snow we have all over here. It's quite nice to do a puzzle with this view. Uh, it's gonna be dark in one hour, I think, though, but anyway, and then if you're also wondering how did I start getting this progress going, um, somebody... told me that it, it ain't cheating if I just take a look at this just to get the idea of what am I doing and together with your tips and taking a quick look at this. I actually gonna know what I'm doing here a little bit. I haven't still opened the guide, I won't. And uh, let's see what kind of progress I will get done today. This is the crazy progress of today. I got rid of even one of my sorting um, boxes. I almost already put this out, but then I was like, it's just gonna take too much time. So I'm just still gonna just keep taking the pieces from here. But yeah, do you think this could be already, this is Billy Boy outside. Do you think this could be already ready tomorrow? And this is uh, my keep it sane puzzle I've been building with my husband, so. I'll see what happens tomorrow. Yay! Okay, people, this is my uh, night cam. I have to get this done. I, I know the sound is not the best. I have a dishwasher going on. It's extremely dark. The light is not good, but I just have to get this going. I want to finish this tomorrow. Let's get you um, adjusted here. So you can watch me, the quality is what it is, let's go.
How exciting is this? Um, so after my night session yesterday, I feel like this is almost already done. I have just a couple, all kind of these random pieces, the edges, and then I have like a big bunch of this shape puzzles, puzzles, puzzle pieces. I basically just left them for the last and put every other shaped pieces in and I'm so excited. I'm gonna even put my glasses on. Let's do this. The crypt is ready and my first question is why there is an extra piece? Is there always an extra piece in crypts? I'm so confused. I, I cannot believe this is done. This is the best moment of my life. Oh my god. So, have my thoughts about this script puzzle change now that it's ready. Let's figure it out. And let's also open this puzzle guide. You can see it's still unopened. I will definitely come and show you. Let's start with this. So you can see here, it's definitely unopened. Let's open it up. I'm kind of vibing that this puzzle guide is like IKEA instructions, but let's see. Okay. Okay, so this is our puzzle guide. Um, so it's basically just a cut. I'm a little bit disappointed. I was waiting, I don't know what I was expecting. But I think I was expecting more like uh, IKEA instructions, like put this part here and then do this and collect all these and then put this here. But it's literally just the cut. Now I understand the tip. Somebody told me, um, I think it was in part one video, but they were saying like that they were coloring uh, each piece when they put it in, in the guide. That kind of makes sense to me. Okay, well, this was a disappointment. Also, this extra piece was a disappointment. Was the puzzle itself a disappointment? Um, that's an excellent question. Uh, so you have seen probably kind of like a, a little bit of roller coaster. I've been trying to like film there and there my feelings, even though if, if I'm not putting um, them in words, but you can kind of see like what's the mood where I'm so excited that this is ready. I think I'm more maybe re relieved, I would say. And I was actually checking the time because I didn't take time. I didn't have a timer when I was doing this, but obviously because I've been filming, so I was calculating the time. This might be a big surprise, but this actually took me in total way less than 10 hours. 
It's not a bad time. I think the biggest problem with this is that at least for me, maybe because, I don't know, probably my strategy wasn't on point from the beginning, but I think for the first three to five hours, you barely get like any pieces in, maybe like less than 10% or, or so. Uh, but I think when you kind of reach the middle point, then it just starts going. And of course, in the very end, when you have less pieces left, it just goes faster. It's easier to find. You don't feel that overwhelmed with all the <laughs> options. So I think I even tiny little bit enjoyed for the last moments of this. Um, I was actually really enjoying the night session I had. I know it wasn't the best for the filming, especially when you actually missed the little part. Um, I guess my camera shut down, I didn't know this. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't think I'm really up right now, at least for the other crypts. Um, I think I'm like willing to try out the gradient one at some point. I also googled what's the hardest script and they said it's this golden one. I don't know if it's correct uh, or like, you know, factual. I think it was more like somebody's opinion. What do you think if you had done multiple scripts? Is this the hardest one? I could like very carefully recommend this for a person who kind of have a lot of experience with puzzles and looking for new challenges. Or if you have a, just a crazy friend who is always saying that they can do anything, maybe this is a great uh, gift to test that out. Uh, maybe do this together for holidays. But I think maybe my biggest issue was because I've been speed puzzling for so many months that because the beginning was so, so, so slow, like it was like one piece per half an hour. Okay, that's an overstatement, but you get what I'm saying. So I think if now that I know better that, okay, there is the point that it starts going on, I maybe feel a little bit better if I ever do another one. But I think doing this for the first time, not using the puzzle guide, kind of like taking it up for a challenge, maybe not my brightest idea, but now I'm so happy I can do other puzzles. But to be honest, I'm pretty much speechless with this. I don't have anything else to say. So this was it. Uh, let me know <laughs> if you want to challenge me for another crypt or what's your opinion on this in general. Uh, this is it. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.